Come with me this afternoon and we have got a Volkswagen Transporter T5 in for crank no start. Now I have already diagnosed this vehicle, but I just want to show you how I've done it. As I've already said, I've tried to communicate with the vehicle and it won't. So the next step that I did was got my breakout box and straight away we have got the 12 volt live and two grounds, but we have got no can high and can low. So what I'm going to do is jump on to auto data and pull up a wiring diagram. So as you can see now, I have pulled up my wiring diagram. Now, if I click that bottom one, that is the OBD. Let me just zoom this in for you. So if we now follow them two wires up and they go up to the next module, which is the instrument cluster, and that has also got the diagnostic module involved in it as well. So we need to check signals. Now we need to jump out onto the launch now and jump into toolbox and get the oscilloscope up and running. Now these two combined are an absolutely amazing piece of kit. Uh, now if you don't know what you're doing, uh, jump onto automotive top left and it will pull up different options for you. So we need to go to networks and we need to go to can high and can low and connect the leads as instructed. Now we need to jump back onto Autodata and decipher which pins and which colors. Normally on a network, they are always the same colors throughout the whole network. So we need to go to pin 19 and pin 20 on the clocks. Now we've got channel one, channel two coupled up. We're going straight to a good earth and we are going straight into the plug that plugs into the clock where you should get can high and can low let's get the scope this is what i like about this uh, tablet you see because you can go from one to the other without faffing about now channel one is high and channel two is low so all we need to do now is just literally flick the ignition on and we should see some communication right there there we go so we've got can communication to the actual clusters itself now you can repeat that process with it plugged in and the other two wires going from the clocks to the OBD. And just to make sure that we've got good wires from the clocks to the OBD, we're just going to do a continuity test with a basic multimeter, back probe it from the wires from the OBD to the back of the plug. We're going to go down now and we're going to can high and it should bleep. Perfect. Now let's move around to can low. Perfect. And now I can confirm that the actual gateway module inside them clocks is at fault. And there we go, that is the steps that I have taken to diagnose this vehicle. Um, the repair is only as good as the diagnosis, so we can get these sent away now and we'll get them fixed. Anyway, I'll do another video of installing them and coding them and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's get it sent.